I can't go on feeling Over their storied career, the Beatles wrote hundreds of songs, many of which found their way onto live shows and continuing set lists. Not infrequently performed live were songs like Twist and Shout and A Hard Day's Night. Having said that, the Beatles never performed a great number of songs live, including a couple that they flatly refused to do. I'll examine three instances now. 1. I Want You, She's So Heavy I need you. I need On the 1969 album Abbey Road, this is among the heaviest, pun not intended, songs. Among the few songs the band never performed live is this one. The song was only ever recorded in a studio, there is no proof that it was ever performed live throughout the Beatles' career. Why is not made quite plain? Maybe the song was too challenging to perform live, or maybe it's Yoko Ono-related subject matter. Anyway, hearing that in person would have been amazing. 2. Every Little Thing When I'm walking beside her the Beatles for Sale album from 1964 included the rather underappreciated song Every Little Thing. It is a more subdued, sorrowful love ballad than many of the others on the record. Why then was this Beatles tune never performed live? Said another way, nobody would hear it. Early in their history, the Beatles were the epitome of a boy band. Screaming, yelling, crying, and passing out fans filled their live concerts to capacity. At the time, hearing their louder, more upbeat songs over the yells of their supporters was difficult enough, let alone a gentle ballad like Every Little Thing. The reason the song never made it to their set list is therefore rather clear. 3. Honey Pie There was an old-fashioned, vintage feel to this song from the Beatles' 1968 album. And John Lennon supposedly detested that. According to one engineer for the Beatles, Lennon detested traditional songs and called them granny music sh t. Conversely, Paul McCartney preferred more traditional sounding songs. The song was never performed live, and the two infamously butted heads. It's a pity, since among the Beatles' recordings, it's an underappreciated deep slice.